That's from an amla berry tree. I was trimming it. I planted this guy about five years ago. It gets more sun, or I'm, I'm sorry, it gets, it gets a little less sun. It's another omelet berry. There was a time I used to think these uh, berries are really good for you. And they probably are for medicinal, very short-term purposes. But they're super oxidate, oxidating, and they can oxidize your stomach. They're full of oxalates. So anyone who's toxic with oxalates from eating too much plants, yeah, there is a limit to how much oxalates you can take in on one day. It's probably the oxalates in the berry they're pretty good at catching into the ground here. I didn't even plant these. These grew through the pot. That's oregano, lemongrass, pineapple. But I was eating a couple of these a day and I noticed I was full of energy. And that's from the oxalates. But they those oxalates build up. It's like a, it's a way to oxidize the body. So, not that it's a bad thing to oxygenate your body. It's just oxygen can kill you. It burns. It's flammable. You can't do too much. Like anything. Salt, water. And, uh, you guys are watching Dr. Garrett Smith, the nutrition detective. It's probably full of retinol too, which converts down to an aldehyde, which explains why they make alcohol out of plant matter and things like berries and fruits. It's pretty much all toxic. That's why it may chase some bugs out of you. But at the same time, it's going to burn you on the inside. All these plants break down to some form of an alcohol or an aldehyde. So check them out. Dr. Garrett Smith, he's got the lowdown on that. Over and out.